receiver like Stan Morgan uh, make your life easier as a freshman quarterback? Yeah, well, he's a, a veteran guy, a, a leader in our locker room, and he's since day one has, has helped me along with, with everything. Um, you know, we've learned this offense together, but he's just been such a good guy to have, a uh, genuine good person, and always can count on him to, to work hard throughout the week and then be there when it, where I need him to during the game. Adrian, do you throw to him? Do you think, oh, he's going he's to get that ball? Or yeah, I mean, I have all the faith in the world in him. Every time I throw him the ball, I, I think he's going to catch it. You know, I've seen crazier things in practice where he's somehow gotten a ball when no one else thought he could do it. So he's a spectacular player. Have you watched Michigan State? Yeah, you know, I've seen a little bit of tape on them. We're just kind of starting to dive into it. Um, our meetings are later today. Uh, but they're a solid group. Obviously, they have a a really good defense there, and there's some tough dudes, so it'll be a good matchup for our offense. How much do you expect they're going to bring the heat at you? They're kind of known as an aggressive defense that likes to bring a lot of pressure at quarterbacks. Yeah, you know, um, that's something we'll, we'll look at in our breakdown. And, um, you know, I feel like we have the weapons on offense to counter anything that they, they want to bring at us. You know, I feel confident with the guys that we have in our scheme. Maybe what would you say the impact of the captains has been on the team this year and how have they helped you yeah, well, you know, they've, they've set the tone from the beginning. They've been such good leaders and, um, you know, kind of like I was saying about Stan earlier, just genuine good people. Uh, and I think that goes a long way. You know, they have the respect of this team and um, we love them a lot. You know, we want to do well these last couple games for those guys. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's just the way it's supposed to be, you know, with Coach Frost. And I think that was just part of understanding, um, you know, how we were supposed to operate. Uh, the guys just had that mindset from, from the beginning. You know, we need to start fast. We need to go out there and score and set the tone. And um, that takes every single person on the offense to execute and, and have that same mindset. So got to keep using that forward. Is it, is it fun to have a head coach who wants the ball? Yeah, you know, I think that kind of sets a, sends a message uh, to the offense as well. You know, he's confident in us, and, um, you know, we kind of take that to heart, and we want to go out there and score and set the tone for the rest of the team. How bad do you want to send these seniors out in their last home game as winners? Yeah, I mean, they deserve it. Um, they've been so great to me and all the rest of the underclassmen and really the rest of this team. Um, and I want them to be known that they, they laid the foundation for what we're about to become. Um, we've had tons of ups and downs this year, and they've been our rock throughout it all. So they deserve the world, you know, and we're, we're trying to give it to them these last couple games. What could these last two weeks mean for you guys against Michigan State and Iowa as you kind of try to springboard and look ahead to the future of the program? Yeah, you know, well, I really want to focus on this week against Michigan State, but um, it'll definitely be two big games for us. You know, they're very solid opponents, and uh, it'll it'll test our offense, our defense, our team in general, you know, how far we've come. Adrian Devine, have you talked about the offensive line's progression and what they're, what they're playing at right now from your vantage point? How much better is that unit than it was, uh, say, a month or two ago? Yeah, you know, I think our team in general has progressed. Um, you know, just getting more comfortable with his offense and, and learning, you know, the dynamics of it. Um, but I think the offensive line has been has been really great for us of late, especially um, just opening up those holes in the run game, uh, really just establishing their dominance. You know, I'm thankful to have those guys up front.